Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and we've got four phones lined up and they got fingerprints on them, so that means one thing, it's time to benchmark. So we've got the Motorola Droid with the relatively stock Android 2.1 on it, CyanogenMod Mod ROM. Um, we've got the Nexus One with Froyo, and we've got the new HTC Aria from AT&T, and we've got the Sprint Evo 4G. So first let's run Linpack, let's test the CPU and how quick it is. How many uh, floating point operations it can run. So there you go. You've got 6.75 mplops on the Evo, 3.8 on the Aria, 28.6 on the Evo on the uh, Nexus One, and 4.3 on the Droid. We'll run it again here. Now the Nexus One is just going to be loads faster because it has Froyo and it's an actual build intended for the Nexus One, and it has the just-in-time compiler. So see, we got 38 mflops there versus four and three and six on the other phones. So the Aria, you know, it's right there in line with pretty much what we'd expect. Now let's run Quadrant. This is that fun little test that does all sorts of stuff and then spits out a nice fat number at the end so you can compare it to other phones. Doesn't really break down the results uh, the way that some of the other tests do, but you know, assuming everything's on the up and up, you can compare things that way, so let's do that. Obviously, the Nexus One is running a little faster here. Again, it's that just-in-time compiler. It really, really speeds things up, and I can't wait to get it on other phones like the Evo and the Droid 2 um, and the Aria. I mean, it, it's going to speed everything up. It's really going to change your life. It will. All right, maybe not your life, but it'll change your uh, phone a lot. So, here we go. This one takes a little while. So, you see the Evo kind of caught up there, actually. Don't pay too much attention to that, really. It's, it's the number at the end that we care about. The graphics are definitely a little smoother on the Nexus One. Here, the other two phones are slowly catching up. That's no moon, people. All right, it's a moon. Double helix. And yes, I want the benchmark results. So there you go. The Nexus is way up at the top. 1480. Uh, the Evo with 527. And we're still waiting on the other two phones. And you see other phones uh, compared there. So let's see. The Droid 389 and the Aria 393. So that's about what I expected there. Take that however you want to. You can run this test on your phone too. This is all on the market. So anybody can try these. Now let's go run Neocore. This is that cool one with the robots and Gundams and missiles and cool sounds that you won't be able to hear. But it's another fun one to run. This one tests frames per second. And to be honest, I've never gotten anything really outside the norm of what you're going to see here. About 30 frames per second on all the phones. So we'll run it and sit back and watch the show. All right, we're getting closer here. I'll tell you what, on all three phones, I mean, that's not bad at all, right? I don't know what the differences are between the tests, but uh, this one, everything looks pretty good. So 28.7 on the Nexus, 25 on the Evo, 31 on the Aria, interesting. And waiting on the Droid, 24.3 on the Droid. So everything's you know, fairly close, whatever. That's close enough for me, I know. People are going to crank more out of their phones, whatever. All right, now let's do the FPS 2D frames per second. We've all seen this, especially when people are talking about how the Evo appears to be capped at 30 frames per second. There's the Aria hitting 60 and change. There's the Nexus One, 60 something, and the Droid's poking right along there at 30 as well. So I think that's pretty obvious. Um, in the time that <laughs> the Droid and the Evo are still going, we can run the other two twice. Interesting. There you go, 1,000 iterations. That sure took it long enough, and it's you know, averaging about 30, so that's a big difference between all the phones there. 
All right, everybody, that's a decent little test of benchmarking between the Aria, the Evo, the Droid, and the Nexus One, so we'll see you later.